there's a special bond between moms and their little boys. There's much debate out there about how to raise them in the best way. Some moms want to raise warriors and not mama's boys. Which... Can I, I just say I have a problem with all of these terms? I know, me too, girl. <laughs> like the the idea that being a warrior, like first of all, warrior versus mama's boy. I think mm -hmm. we're stuck in these gendered and they're really old. retro ideas about being uh, about gender. Yeah, you know about masculinity, about femininity, about the need for these things to be gendered at all. Yes, absolutely. And you know what? And I feel like this. It's like, what's wrong with having a tender son, right? I mean, or who is Hello. nice and kind and who you know doesn't love they mama love when did that mama? become a crime yeah when did, when did loving your mama become a crime well we're gonna talk about it okay? that's right we have someone here who's gonna help us understand she's fabulous family psychotherapist delise diaz welcome delise thank, thank you so thank much you. for being here thank you so much for having me thank you so girl what is up with this warrior son issue Okay, well, first of all, warriors are young men who are sensitive, who mm. are connected to themselves. So what people really, I think, are talking about with the mama's boy thing is jumping in and rescuing our kids mm. from life experiences. Okay. There are three things we never, ever want to do with our kids. Mm -hmm. We don't want to ever rescue them from life experiences. Right. We don't want to rob them of valuable life lessons mm -hmm. ever, right? right? And that's that's like falling down and learning how to get up failing. again. Yes. Failing. Yes. Learning how to fail upwards, right? right? And what a mama's boy is, really, I think what people are thinking, is when you come in and you rescue them. And let me tell you, you disempower your children when you step in and you say, I know better for you mm -hmm. than you know for yourself. And right. isn't that a dangerous message for any yeah. child, Absolutely. Right? I heard a term this weekend called lawnmower parents. And those are parents who do, who jump in and they just move mow every, down. they mow down every obstacle in front of their kids. It's worse than being a helicopter parent. Oh, it is such a disservice to all of our children. And so if we really want to raise warriors, we need to raise people to know themselves, to love themselves, to be kind to humanity. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with raising sensitive, kind, Thank loving you. kids who yes. love their mama? Yeah. And again, the difference, the big difference is don't jump in and rescue. Don't right. do everything for them because then you raise, you know, young men who just don't know how to take care of themselves. Yeah. So you've robbed them of that too. Yeah, right. they can't right? manage their feelings because that's something that I feel like, I feel like what we're talking about here is when they say, when I hear warrior, what I hear is right. I want to raise um, an assertive, yes. a strong person who can stand up for themselves. Yes. But I want that to be for little girls Girl too, too. For, for yeah. not binary For everybody. every not binary totally whatever agree. you are. Yeah. Yes. And so in the the pressure on little boys, I mean, in reading about this so-called warrior philosophy, like right. stuff like, there were set in their lines like, you know, boys are built for adventure, send them outside. Well, As what if about girls are, right? Exactly. I'm sorry, who was Amelia Earhart? <laughs> yeah. Right. right. I'm right. just trying to say. Right. Right, right, right. right. Serena. I'm just saying. Right. Yes. So, so basically what you're saying is you're talking about over coddling. Over can you over can, oh, Yeah, can you? A hundred percent. When you rescue a child from their own experiences, again, you take that life lesson away. You've got to teach kids it's okay to struggle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? And what do people do? We see in the, the next generation, it's like, oh, it's a little bit too hard, so give up, throw in the towel. Oh my gosh, that's not a warrior. Right. right. We want to teach our kids how to be a warrior in the sense of, I got this. I can do it. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, the best gift in the world that you can give your child is to trust their inner guidance mm -hmm. because they've got it and to know I can do this. Yes. I believe in you when you don't even believe in yourself. Right. That's what an amazing right. mom is, oh, that is right? Yeah, that's lovely. That that's beautiful. lovely. You know, I, I, you know, I was just I was here reading about this this parent who was like who shows up with the kid leaves the homework. You you bring the homework <laughs> in. The kid leaves the instrument. You bring the instrument in. Right. You know, the kid leaves that water bottle. It's like, oh my goodness, how are you going to hydrate? How's my child going to drink water? Think of what that message is. Yeah. You, you don't, you can't take care of you, sweetie, so I've got to jump in and do it. Yeah. What a horrible message to say, look outside yourself for the guidance because mm -hmm. you don't have it. Don't trust yourself. That's oh, why we're see. seeing so many difficulties when, yes. when these children when people, grow they up. run into adversity. Yeah. Right? Or not getting what they want. Thank you so much, Delise. Thank you yes. for being here. Thank Thank so we Raise can't wait. those warrior boys and girls. That's right. right. A team of warriors. Yes. yes. Meet time with Frangela. 